What is the future for diamond mining at Argyll? The AK-1 open pit is about two kilometres long and one kilometre wide. This open pit operation will continue until about 2010, beyond which it is unlikely that open pit mining would be economically viable. For this reason, in February 2003, Argyll commenced a feasibility study into underground mining. This has the potential to extend mine life for 10 or more years after the open pit operation is completed. The feasibility study includes the construction of a two and a half kilometre tunnel known as an exploratory decline. This decline enables Argyll to study the rock formations surrounding the ore body. Argyll started building the decline in mid-2003 and should complete the works by the end of 2004. Following the completion of the feasibility study, Rio Tinto will make a decision on the viability of underground mining. This decision is likely to be made in early 2005. Now, let's look at the two options for the mine's future. Firstly, we'll look at what would happen at Argyle if underground mining does not go ahead and the mine closes with the end of open pit mining. This is what the open pit operation would look like in its final years. The open pit and waste dumps would get bigger and the mine would operate as it does now. Open pit mining would finish in about 2010. Following the closure of the open pit mine, there would be some options to make the pit area safe. Rehabilitation works would be implemented to ensure the land is stable and that there is no erosion. After rehabilitation, the land would resemble its state before mining began. Now we'll look at the other option for the mine's future, underground mining. If underground mining does go ahead, it could extend the mine life by a decade until 2020. If the underground operation was implemented, Building works would begin in 2005. It would take five years to build the underground mine. During this time, open pit mining would continue. Safety of all employees would be crucial to the planning, building and working of the underground mine. The underground mining operation would require four tunnels to be built from the eastern side of the existing open pit area. One to get to the underground area by vehicle, another to take ore to the surface via conveyor, and two more to take cooled air to the workspaces below and to remove the stale air. These air tunnels would be linked to the surface by vertical shafts. Different techniques would be used to mine underground, depending on the ore body's depth and shape. For mining purposes, Argyll has named sections of the ore body. They are the main ore body, which will be mined underground, and the northern bowl. The northern bowl, located at the northern area of the existing pit, would be deepened and remain as an open pit mine during the first years of underground mining. The main ore body would be mined by block caving, which requires tunnels to be constructed underneath the ore body or block. After a slice is blasted off the bottom of the ore body, the ore above falls in under its own weight and is collected in the tunnel underneath by large funnels. Below the part of the ore body where block caving would take place, and after completion of that process around 2013, Argyll would begin sublevel caving. In sublevel caving, the ore would be blasted from a series of tunnels with the mine being worked from the top down. After diamond bearing ore is removed from the ore body, it would be crushed underground, then sent via conveyor to the process plant on the surface. The underground mining techniques proposed by Argyll are based on detailed research of mining methods used around the world. In addition, Information from the exploratory decline will provide more details of the rock formations beneath the pit. The underground mining operation would not change the current boundaries of the open pit. However, when viewed from above, the pit would no longer look like a stepped open pit mining operation, 
as the sides and bottom of the pit would cave in due to the underground activity. Importantly, the current waste dumps won't become larger as mainly crushed diamond bearing ore would be brought to the surface for processing. An extra 70 million tonnes would be mined, so the amount of tailings produced would increase. Unless more diamonds are discovered during underground mining, it is likely that the underground mine operations would finish in about 2020. Argyle would consult with traditional owners, local Aboriginal people and other stakeholders when planning for the closure and rehabilitation of the underground mine.